Good morning, friends. I apologize for my voice, but I had quite the long weekend, and I was around a lot of cigarette smoke, talked a lot, and had a lot of laughs. So my voice is not what it usually is. <clears throat> Excuse me. I should be okay in a few days. I wanted to make a quick video this morning about Andy No and why I do not trust Snopes. Snopes.com, there for a long while, was trusted as a fact-checking site. But I believe that they are completely riddled with blue checks and activists, and I no longer think that they are a credible source of information or fact-checking. So, I'd like to start off by showing you a tweet that Snopes made about Andy No. Now, many of you might not know who Andy No is, but that's fine. We'll get to that in a moment. Andy No here from Snopes.com describes himself as an editor at the conservative website Quillette and says he is hated by Antifa, said he was attacked by anti-fascist protesters and had been taken to the hospital to treat injuries to his face and head. Now, what I find interesting is that they, co they couch this in a way that brings doubt upon everything about Andy No, like he is a no one, like he doesn't exist, or he is someone who just came out of the woodwork claiming to be things. I find that very disingenuous, and not just disingenuous, but disempowering to the man's career. <clears throat> Let's look and see what Andy No is. Andy No says he is an editor at Colette, hated by Antifa. Host of things. Makes this journalism possible. You can donate. Andy, no. <clears throat> now, if you look at his Twitter here, he has quite a bit of followers. He has a long history. Look at that. 200,000 followers. Over 33,000 likes, 9,000 tweets. This person is clearly a someone and has a blue check mark. So, right off the bat here over at Snopes, they're already denying reality by acting like who he is is under any question. It would be like if you said Anderson Cooper. Let's look at Anderson Cooper's Twitter. It would be like if you said Anderson Cooper supposed CNN anchor or describes himself as a CNN employee or supposed author of New York Times bestseller, Rainbow Comes and Goes. It's very odd that they would take someone like Andy No, who has half the following of someone like, An like Anderson Cooper, clearly as someone, clearly established, and yet they act like he is that even his credentials as a professional are suspect. I, I think that's very disingenuous. <clears throat> Excuse me. When publications use phrasing like this, who described himself as, it's a qualifier meant to undermine the validity of the next statement. It's, it's very disingenuous and harmful to the person. And then, the, the other thing that I have such a, uh, a bone to pick with Snopes about here is they call Colette a conservative website. Now, if you open up Colette, the first thing you see is a very simplistic, basic mix of a blog site and a news site, because that's pretty much what it is. They cover everything involving technology, politics, culture war stuff. It's a very broad spectrum website when it comes to content. And the people behind Colette are female, they are left-leaning, they are progressive. Let's go to the About tab. When you look at Colette, the first sentences that they say about themselves have the word, <clears throat> excuse me, free exchange of ideas, free expression, that kind of thing. It even says progress. And when you read this all together, let me highlight this and I'll read it for you in my terrible voice today. Quillette is a platform for free thought. We respect ideas, even dangerous ones. We also believe that free expression and the free exchange of ideas help human societies flourish and progress. Quillette aims to provide a platform for this exchange. Now, does that sound particularly conservative or hard right or far right to you? It certainly doesn't to me. And I'm not going to bore you by going through all of these people that run Quillette, but every one of them is open-minded 
They want to find out what's going on in the world. They want to share good ideas and give a platform for multiple ideas to be talked about together. Now, Andy No is a conservative individual. He leans right on some social issues and he votes right. But that doesn't mean that he's far right or dangerous and it doesn't necessarily even make a person conservative. One can have many reasons for voting right, such as myself. You don't have to be a social conservative to vote for someone on the right. There are plenty of reasons to vote right outside of being a white supremacist or being a hardline conservative, like many of these leftist pundits and activists would have you believe. So, if you read further about Quillette, you'll find that they exist because they want to fight against the censorship and the ever-increasing Overton window going left where normal, moderate voices get silenced and marginalized. So, that leads me to think that Snopes can't help but know this because you can learn all of this with only a few minutes of using a web search and reading their own website. So clearly, Snopes.com, the fact checker, didn't check any facts about Quillette or they know all the things I just said and they decide to smear them as a, quote, conservative website anyway. And now, you say yiz. You're someone who is questionably on the right now. Why would you say that calling them a conservative website is a smear? Well, this is why. When you look at Andy No in the ER, beaten, shamed, he had milkshakes thrown at him that had quick-drying cement in them, he was kicked, he was bludgeoned, shoved around, shamed with silly string and God knows what. The people that do this to him are jackals known as Antifa. This stupid mob is easily led and fueled to violence, and they aim their violence at anyone whom they believe is a part of white supremacy or the fascist establishment. And their ring leaders are morons on Twitter with blue checks who think they're doing the world a favor by labeling anyone they don't like, anyone outside of LGBTism, anyone who doesn't bow down and suck the dick of the diversity goddess, as far-right fascists or white supremacists. So, Snopes.com and other blue check marks on Twitter are directly responsible for these idiot, low-IQ, black-masked thugs beating up people like Andy No. Now, another thing about Andy No, he is openly homosexual, and he is a Vietnamese immigrant to America. Now, a Vietnamese gay immigrant. I doubt that Mr. Andy No would be very liked by the far right, especially white identitarians, because most of the far right ideologues and far right <clears throat> and far right activists and terrorists, they hate what they call degeneracy, and gay males are high on that list. So, why? Would anyone believe that Andy No is part of white supremacy or anything having to do with far-right activist groups? It all comes from blue check marks who actively and willingly tell lies about the people that they have as career or political opposition, specifically to sabotage them to masked leftist jackals like these morons because they know this will happen. So I do not trust Snopes. I think everything about Snopes is bollocks. They are a bad sight, and they are not trustworthy. They are activists. They are leftist activists, and I don't think you should trust them either. Thank you for listening to my short rant with my horrible voice. Hopefully by tomorrow or the next day, my voice will be right as rain, and you can listen to the dulcet tones of your favorite trap once again. Until then, goodbye, and God bless.